Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Jenny and I want to apologize in advance for taking this long to post the video. But as you guys, some of you guys know, I don't really feel too good and um, it's on and off. I was planning on doing an actual video of myself with the questions and um, the notes that I have for you guys. But uh, again, I don't feel too well. So um, I will be doing a voiceover and um, I will be focusing on AMP today, the HESI. And the HESI questions for AMP, it's 30 questions. And according to my school, it's based on basic terminology and anatomical structures and systems. I did a voting poll on my channel with AMP and biology and AMP scored higher. So this is a video that I will be doing today. So I'm just going to jump right into this video. If you have a pen and paper to take notes. Also, I may be doing like a few pauses so you guys could just, you know, um, ask the question to yourself and maybe answer it and see if you got it right. Or, you know, just know the things that you need to work on, like the terms and, um, just the different, the different topics in A&P. So basically, when starting off with A&P, I feel, well, not I feel like, you need to really know like the body systems, but don't go too much into depth with the body systems. Just like know basic information about the systems. Like for example, the respiratory system, it's made up of um, what it's made up of, it includes the mouth, the nose, the throat, the voice box, windpipe, lungs, and the diaphragm. And the main organ of the respiratory system is the lungs. But again, don't even like go too much into depth. Just know the systems in case you get a question based on that. Um, you guys might hear a paper, like you might hear movement with the paper because I do have my notes written down. So just let's get started. So we'll begin with um, a very easy one. So when it comes to digestion, where does digestion begin in the digestive system? Okay, um, I hope you guys answered that correctly to yourself. So it begins in the mouth. It's also known as the oral cavity. Um, that's an easy one. And again, just focus on the main topics that I am giving you guys. So another question would be, um, since we're on cavity, you know, there's different cavities in the body. So which cavity would you find the urinary bladder and internal reproductive organs? So when you think about internal reproductive organs and the urinary bladder, you would think of like the pelvic Ca um, cavity. Which organ would you find in both the male reproductive system and urinary system? So a lot of times people mistake the urethra and the ureta um, for each other. So just be very careful. The urethra is the one that you will find in both the male reproductive system and the urinary system. And the urethra is also found in both male and female, but it's in, in female, it's shorter in the female. Since we're on that topic, which one do you guys think it's, is responsible for transporting urine from the kidneys to the bladder? And that's also important to know. So the ureter is, is the one responsible for transporting urine from the kidneys to the bladder i hope i'm not going too fast for you guys but on to the next question blood cells are made where like where in the body are blood cells made and again i'm just going to give you a few seconds to think about it okay um so blood cells are made in the bone marrow a platelet is also known as what so when you think about platelets, thrombocyte should also come to mind. A platelet is also known as a thrombocyte. And what they do is they help form like blood clots. They help form clots and um, to stop or prevent bleeding. 
a group of cells that are grouped together what are they known as a tissue so a group of cells that are grouped together is known as a tissue remember it's cells then tissues then organs then organ systems don't forget that make sure you keep that in mind um, don't get confused because sometimes they might try to give you like tissues then cells and then organs just know it's cells tissues organs then organ system so white blood cells helps the body to fight infection and other diseases but we also need to know like about phagocytosis and white blood cells so focus on phagocytosis <laughs> Focus on phagocytosis in white blood cells and like lysosomes. A cell membrane is also known as, okay, so a cell membrane is also known as the plasma membrane. And as we know, it has um, different functions, but one of the main things that it does is it brings nutrients into the cell and Tox, um, toxic substance stock why am I stuttering okay it brings nutrients to the cell and toxic substances out so the um, cell membrane regulates the transport of substances in and out of a cell there are three major types of skin cancers so there's basal cell um, squamous cell and melanoma so there's this rule called the ABCD and if you are applying to nursing school then you should also really pay attention to this because we still use this in um, nursing school. So based on the ABCD rule, which type of cancer is identified? And also the ABCD means asymmetry, border, color, and diameter. Let's move on to the heart chambers let's just focus on the left atrium right atrium left ventricle and right ventricle so the left side has the thicker wall since it pumps blood throughout the body and on the right side it only pumps to the lungs so, so the left ventricle has the thickest wall if you find this video helpful so far, um, we're not done yet, but if you find it um, helpful so far, don't forget to hit the like button and also share the video with your friends to help others as I'm trying to help you guys. But also just let's move on. So the next topic that I have, I'm just trying to break down the topics for you guys so that way you do not have to go ahead and study it like a whole book. You know, it's going to really, really guide you guys. I promise you it's going to guide you. So, um, on to sympathetic nerve. Um, so, the sympathetic nervous system prepares the body for a fight or flight in emergency situations. So, when the sympathetic nervous system is simulated, cardiac output takes place. Because, you know, it's like an emergency. You kind of like in a panic mode. So, you know, your heart rate and everything just goes up. So cardiac output takes place. Have you ever worked out and you just feel a burning sensation, especially after like an intense workout? Or like, let's say you wake up the next day and you're very sore. Do you know what um, causes that? If you said lactic acid, then you're right. So it's um, lactic acid buildup and I'll never forget what lactic acid is from the way my professor had um, explained it so basically like from the burning sense the burning sensation that you feel it's from lactic acid buildup so this one is pretty straightforward what ma macro molecules the genetic code is carried on so when you think about macro molecules just know you just um just know what it means and the genetic code how it's associated if you've taken amp before then you know anatomical positions are big in amp and there are four main anatomical positions which are the supine prone right lateral and left lateral um so 
anterior and posterior might also come to mind when we think about anatomical positions. So the anterior is when you're facing forward, like in front, and posterior is behind. So we need to know and be able to describe how an, indiv how an individual's hand or the palm and feet should be facing in an auto anatomical position. So basically, if they give you an example of the way someone is um, standing according to the way the palms are facing, or the way the feet is, then you should be able to identify which position they're, um, they're in. So again, just look up the anatomical positions, anatomical positions, and then uh, you will get a better idea to see the pictures and the images of um, what I'm talking about. Since we are on um, positions, let's just move on to synovial joints so there are six types of synovial joints which allows the body to move for example the shoulders being able to like rotate the knees the um, hip and elbow you may have heard of the um, the synovial joint called the ball and socket and there's another one called the hinge joint so the ball and socket, two examples of that one, it's the shoulders and hip joint. And an example of a hinge joint is the elbows. So just know the joints and just look up examples so you get a better understanding of um, what type of joint like your body is made up of, like different parts of the body. There are different pulse points and uh, um, they're located in different like on different parts of the body. So When it comes to pulse points, just know their location For example, the temporal pulse is felt at the temple near the air and The popliteal is behind your knees and um, pulse points is also really important taken um, in, going into nursing school so just don't just try to learn it now and forget about it because you will be learning a lot more about pulse points so if you start learning about it now just keep it in mind and um keep on learning more about it because it will be very helpful on to the endocrine system so it's made up of several glands found all over the body but what do endocrine glands do Okay, so endocrine glands secrete chemicals into the blood. So ADH it's, is a big thing in AMP again. ADH is a hormone. And what is the response of cells in the collecting tubules in a nephron when ADH is secreted? So when ADH is secreted, water is reabsorbed from the urinary filtrate. We know that the stomach contains hydrochloric acid and digestive enzymes, which helps the body break down food. But why isn't the stomach, like, why doesn't the stomach digest itself? That's a question that, like, I got something similar to that on my exam. It says, why doesn't the stomach digest itself? It's because the stomach wall is protected by large amounts of mucus. Since I spoke about glands earlier, I really wanna um, stress on it a little and just make sure that you guys focus on the different names. So my question is, what glands secrete airwax? Okay, so that's the ceruminous glands they secrete airwax. There are four quadriceps muscles on the front of the thigh, which plays a big role in helping us extend the leg. So when you look up the quadriceps um, muscles and you see the four names, just make sure you know the location of the muscles. So the vastus lateralis is, is on the lower extremity. When it comes to the healing of a fractured bone, it goes through a process in order for it to be repaired. So 
First we have the hematoma formation, I'll put it on the screen, then the collis formation and the collis ossification, and then the bone remodeling. So just know hematoma comes first and bone remodeling is last. We also have to know what intramembranous ossification is and what bones are formed through this process. For example, the pelvis, the skull, and the clavicles. Again, I'll write the name on the screen so you guys can look into it further to know what exactly it is and what, bone, what bones are formed in this process. Okay, thank you for getting this far into the video. This is the last question. Um, so we're going to focus on fingerprints and the following layers of skin that are responsible for fingerprints. It's the dermal papilla or dermal papillae. Again, I'll just write it on the screen, however you want to pronounce it. You know, we all say things differently. So everything will be written on, on um, the screen so you can see it. But I hope this was helpful for you guys because I know how stressful it is to study for an exam, especially now in nursing school. Trust me, you're going to think that the HESI is like a breeze. But um, I hope this is helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And again, don't be stingy. Share the video with other people that's, that wants to take the um, HESI or what they want to get into. If it's nursing, dental hygiene. Um, but thank you so much. And thank you for all the love on my other videos, guys. And I see that you share it. Um, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll be coming with an update soon. I just, again, still don't feel really good. So um, when I feel better, I feel like I'll be able to really update you guys on everything. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and wish you luck on your exams.